Welcome back guys. Uh, t today I thought I'd take a look at the new Debian 8.5. Um, I saw on DistroWatch that Debian had a new version uh, released and that's the Debian 8.5, the new Jesse. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and download that and install it. Now, <coughs> I don't do, uh, normally, I don't do any virtual box installs. I do everything to the hard drive. And so uh, that makes it extremely difficult to capture uh, the actual installation. Now, some of you may be a little bit intimidated uh, by the process of installing Debian if you've never done it before. So I thought I'd go through the process uh, quickly with you. I took a series of um, photos uh, of the installation process and let me uh, go through that with you now let's see okay let's see now the first screen that you're going to um, once you copy the uh, install to your USB drive and I think that um, let's take a look because I uh, installed the default installer from the Debian website but I pulled it in I believe through distro watch they had the um, they had the listing here as you can see Debian 8.5 so if I click on that and go to the website uh, you see up in the right hand corner here Deb download Debian 8.5 if you click on that it pulls in the combination installer which is 32 or 64 bit uh, network installer now it'll it'll uh, basically tailor itself to your installation so if you have a 32 it'll give you the 32 bit option if you have a 64, it'll give you the 64-bit option. Um, so that's what I would recommend. Now, I'll go through the screens that you'll encounter during your install. Once you download that, burn it to a USB, boot off the USB, and let me show you what you'll come up against. Now, the first screen you'll see, as I said, <clears throat> because I have a 64-bit system, it gave me uh, a options to install. That's a um, command line install. You don't want that first option in most cases. 64-bit command line, then you have a graphical install and a 64-bit graphical install. So I chose the 64-bit graphical install. The next screen is basically just selecting your language. And off on the right here, you'll see a continue button. So you just select your uh, country here. American English and then let's see okay now once you get past that um, basically the install determined that I had a uh, Wi-Fi dongle that drivers were not available for so it was asking me if I had them available maybe on a floppy drive or a USB stick uh, well, I did not so I clicked I, I changed this to no and I clicked continue Now the next screen, basically it identified my network options. And in this case, um, you'd be safer to select the one that's highlighted. And that's usually the one that Debian found drivers for. So I just clicked continue on that screen. Then host name, I left it at Debian. For domain name, I just leave that blank. And then you're going to enter your root password twice, uh, a name for the user, full name, then the username for that account, and then a password for the new user. 
select your time zone and again down the bottom here you'll see continue after you make your selection you'll just continue to the next step so for um, partitioning I, I selected manual because none of these uh, guided options um, satisfied my requirements I wanted to select the uh, specific uh, partition I had already uh, prepared it I had formatted it in a ext4 so and I didn't want any um, I didn't want Debian messing with any of my other disks or petitions so I selected manual and then it happened to be on my SDC 2 petition you see SDC 2 so I just clicked I highlighted it and clicked continue and then just click on each each of these options so if you click on a line um, then it gives you a set of options so I selected ext4 I selected yes format it now it was already formatted but just so you know sometimes Debian has a problem with pre-formatted petitions and so I have found that it's safer just to let it go ahead and format it I clicked on mount point and selected the root I'm going to use that also as my home petition the rest of it I left um, according to Debian's defaults so uh, really all you need to do is select your file system whether or not you want to want to format and your mount point I left everything else the way it was and then I highlight done setting up the petition then I click continue and then because I'm not using a swap space I just clicked on finish petitioning and write the changes to disk then I clicked continue now it asked me it, because I didn't select a swap space it found that a little bit unusual so it gives me the option to return to the petitioning menu and, and since I'm not going to use swap I put no and I clicked continue then it just uh, gives you a warning that it's going to format it tells you what petition be very careful make sure this reflects what you wanted um, I, I wanted SDC 2 and so this is petition 2 of SDC and it's it's formatting as ext4 so I clicked yes and then I clicked continue now it goes ahead and formats it'll go ahead and do its thing then it will install the base system then it will ask you for a country designation then it will ask you for a, a mirror I left the default FTP US Debian it'll usually select the most logical mirror for your installation I clicked continue I don't have a proxy I just clicked continue then it pulls in the rest of the files that it needs and then it asks you if you want to participate in a package usage survey I always say no that's entirely up to you now here it's gonna ask you to select your desktop environment course you're gonna leave it, it, when this screen comes up it's gonna have these three check marks there you want to leave those alone and just pick the desktop that you want now you can pick more than one just check off what you want but I wouldn't go crazy on this I don't think I would do more than two um, just so you don't have a lot of cross-contamination for example if you select XFCE and KDE you're gonna have a lot of cross contamination or a cross file install a lot of the uh, KDE files are not needed for XFCE but they are needed for KDE so you're gonna get what's ever required for both of those desktops so you want to keep that in mind but if you think you wanna um, have access to more than one desktop by all means select them this is the time to do that I just selected XFCE just one desktop environment 
and as you can see that's what I checked and then I clicked continue so now it goes in and selects and installs all of the software now you can see it's pulling in 1158 files and that's just for XFCE so it'll finish up go to the next screen it's gonna ask you where you want to install so it's first it's gonna tell you looking for other operating systems once it determines what you have installed on your computer then it will bring up the next screen and ask you if you want to install to the master boot record that really depends on what you have installed already um, if it's going to be your only operating system then of course you'll select yes in my case because I'm doing so much mul um, dual booting and multi booting I selected no because I want to select where grub gets installed now Debian doesn't um, give you an option to not install a bootloader so what I do is I click instead of selecting these options here I select enter device manually and then I select continue at that point I copy in my install petition dev sdc2 um, that's the safest way to leave your current booting options alone I don't want it messing with my booting my grub screen I want grub handled by another distribution and and I don't want to mess with that so I just installed gr install grub to the same petition that I installed Debian to and that is dev sdc2 now you're gonna have to type you're gonna actually actually have to type that in and then click continue be careful with that make sure you select the right one for your situation then once you click continue it's going to update grub it's going to configure clock settings and finish the installation it's going to ask you if your system clock is set to UTC in most cases you'll answer yes now sometimes if you're letting Windows handle the booting you might want to select no but if Windows is not handling your booting your grub uh, priorities uh, you would select yes installation is complete time to boot into your new system and that is it once you boot then of course if you if if you're handling grub through another distribution you'll go into that you'll boot to that distribution your grub screen will come up you'll boot to your main distro and if it's a Linux distro you will just run sudo at um, sudo uh, OS prober and sudo update grub OS dash prober update dash grub once you reboot after letting those run then this Debian install will be listed among your available distributions and you just select it and boot right in now once you boot in uh, if you select XFCE it'll give you the option of using the defaults um, which is what I do um, so you end up with this panel and you end up with this here the first thing I do is right click desktop settings and I get rid of removable devices I usually bump up this size to 40 and we'll just leave that alone right click again arrange desktop icons that's what I usually do then I go ahead and install whatever theme whatever um, icons I want on, a, on an ongoing or a permanent basis this is not the desktop that I would uh, live with on a day-to-day -day basis now I usually remove I only use one desktop so I remove the workspace switcher clean up the uh, panel a little bit and that is uh, that is usually it um, 
Now, for this particular install, I did not uh, install anything other than a few multimedia applications like GUVC View and Kazam. So this is a bare bones XFCE Debian 8.5. I really like Debian. It's solid. It's stable. Um, you can go for the testing branch or the unstable, but um, I wouldn't advise it if you are not 100% comfortable with doing your own maintenance and tweaking. Um, if if fixing problems within Linux is not your cup of tea, then go for the Debian stable in, uh, installation, which is that this is the Debian stable installation. Uh, so there's a lot of tweaking left to do. Uh, this would not, um, I, I wouldn't use this on a day to day as I mentioned. Um, and if you guys want uh, me to do another video uh, going through the tweaking process, I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that and I'll do a part two. But this is Debian Jesse 8.5. It's the stable distribution. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you soon. Take care.